Hey everyone, Matt Smox here, and today I'm trying to free a locomotive that's been trapped in a building on a, an 18-inch gauge railroad called the Collegeville and Southern. Here's a car I just pulled out, working with the owner. That's as far as I was able to clear track in that direction. I have to put the, push the car up onto the dirt to get it through the switch, back out onto the main. This is a yard switch, and it goes into the building, which there is a third track in the building, but it's disconnected. So it's just the two tracks that are in place, connected. This is the locomotive that's being pulled out. This will go up to my shop and be converted to a two-foot gauge for use on another private railroad. And also for personal use, it is a mess. Last time the railroad ran was 11 years ago. There's the caboose. That was in a wreck. Hopper. Steam locomotive hasn't run in a lot longer. But, uh, yeah, so the locomotive will get uh, restored and put back in a working order. Just got to do a switcheroo, get around the uh, the rider car there. Track works pretty rough, but again, what do you expect? It's been out of service and no maintenance. This is, is part of the original main line, which is cut off at a bridge. So the bridge is out, but it goes for a while that way. Then track is removed on the other side of the bridge, except for a section. Comes through here. That switch is out of service. We'll have to kick the car through. There's a crossing here, which is very overgrown. And you can actually see there's another track here that goes out towards the front. There's one of the work cars there. And there's actually a speeder converted to a work car behind it that switch converges on to this track then there is a y here for another track you actually see the sig the uh signal over there and it goes in that direction eventually i'll draw up a map maybe uh when i post this video i'll draw the map but uh, this is as far as we got so far getting uh the coach out of the way Again, the track's been uh, damaged at this point, so this will be very fun to get it across. And then onto the siding, which we need to rebuild the one rail. And that'll allow for trains to kind of move around. This Again, this is the first time in over a decade this railroad has actually operated. So this will be, uh, be interesting. Hey, I'm back. As you saw the photos, we moved the coach out, pulled the uh, motor out, switched the two around using three or two switches, and uh, got them back in. Uh, now the motor's on the front. I'm just looking at the flat car here, which I moved out of the weeds there onto the branch. Of course, I don't feel like moving that anymore. This spot was a mess. You could not enter it before. It was so overgrown. Now, not only did we successfully get the thing switched around, that switch works. This switch mostly works. The track is mostly passable, except for sections. Uh, this track is, well, it's in pieces. But on the other side, it's really fun. Not only do you have the bump, which somehow does not affect anything. We rolled the car right into the grass. You could see the lines. Made its own path. Came back on. And that's it. <laughs> 